boys and girls, welcome to Sunday School and happy Valentine's Day. Today our Bible story comes from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41, and it's the story of Jesus calming the storm. And I'm going to be reading from the Living Bible Translation today. As evening fell, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took him just as he was, and they started out, leaving the crowds behind, though other boats followed. But soon a terrible storm arose. High waves began to break into the boat until it was nearly full of water and about to sink. Jesus was asleep at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. Frantically, they wakened him, shouting, Teacher! Don't you even care that we're all about to drown? Then he rebuked the wind, and he said to the sea, Quiet down! And the wind fell, and there was a great calm. And he asked them, Why were you so fearful? Don't you even yet have confidence in me? And they were filled with awe and said among themselves, who is this man that even the winds and seas obey him? Now, boys and girls, today I'd like to share a spiritual practice with you called Lectio Divina. Now, Lectio Divina is a prayerful reading of scripture that helps us to listen to God. In Psalm 46.10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And Lectio Divina is a tool that helps us to be still and to listen to God. So I'm going to read a verse from our Bible story today very slowly. And I want you to listen. And when you hear a word that catches your attention, stop and think about that word. Wonder if that's a word that God wants you to think about. So get comfortable, sit comfortably, take a deep breath, and close your eyes and listen. And they were filled with awe and said among themselves, Who is this man that even the winds and seas obey him? Let's read it again and see if we can hear another word that we want to wonder about. And they were filled with awe and said among themselves, Who is this man that even the winds and seas obey him? Now, boys and girls, when we are still and we listen to God's word, sometimes we hear things that we wouldn't normally hear. I hope you've enjoyed our Lectio Divina. Uh, it is a tool that you can use. To, to pray and to spend time with God and listen to his word. Now let's check in with Samuel and see what he's wondering about our Bible story today. Greetings, I'm Samuel. In today's story, Jesus is in a boat with his disciples. After a long day of teaching, Jesus is tired and is ready to cross the lake. When he gets in the boat, Jesus falls asleep. While he's sleeping, a storm comes and rocks the boat back and forth. The disciples get really scared. I would be too. They wake up Jesus and ask him how he can sleep when the boat is rocking so hard. Jesus tells the wind to calm down, and the waters became calm again. Whoa, the disciples are amazed. After Jesus calms the storm, he says to the disciples, Why are you frightened? Don't you have faith yet? In this moment, Jesus reminds us that our faith is not just important during good times. Jesus shows us to have faith when things are hard, too. One time, the power went out in my house, and I was in my room alone. And I was really scared because I don't like the dark. I left my room and went to find my parents. I always feel safe with them. And I knew I would feel better when I got to them. When I got to their room, they gave me a big hug and reminded me that I would be okay. They also gave me a flashlight, which made the dark 
not as scary. After they gave me the flashlight, they told me this story. My dad said the disciples were scared in their storm too. Jesus came and he calmed it. Jesus also reminded them to have faith, even when it's hard too. I was still a little scared, but the story gave me hope. My parents took out more flashlights so that we could make shadow animals on the wall with them. I realized everything was okay, even though it started off scary. Jesus shows us what to do in difficult times, in times of trouble. We can use Jesus as a guide. This can be hard when you're afraid and you don't know what to do. Remember, Jesus is with us in every situation. Whether you are feeling really good or having a really hard time, even when it's hard, we can have faith. Now it's your turn to wonder.
boys and girls. Well, today I have a fun craft for us, but first I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, some of the things that I included in our packet this week for Lent. So Lent is the beginning um, it begins on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, we call it Ash Wednesday. It's February 17th, and it begins the period of Lent, which is the period of time where we look forward and we prepare for Easter. Just like Advent is a time that we prepare for Christmas, Lent is the time that we prepare for Easter. And there are 40 days in Lent, and in that counting, we don't count Sundays. So there's 40 days, and so one of the things that I included was a countdown cross that I thought you might enjoy doing. It reminded me of our children's church cross, um, and so what you're going to do is each day, beginning on Ash Wednesday, you're going to pick one section, and this um, has little things that you can do. So maybe uh, one thing you might do is you might write a thank you note to someone. Maybe someone's done something really nice for you, and so you want to write a thank you note. So you you would do that and then you would color that shape in and then maybe you would read a bible story on another day and you would col color that in and so there's all different kinds of things that you can do and then at the end of lent when easter you'll have a, a beautiful cross it'll be kind of like a stained glass look to it and you can um, put that up in your house to remember this time period and then i also have another activity this is a, a prayer tool this is called a labyrinth. Now, some people confuse a labyrinth with a maze. A maze is kind of a puzzle. You have twists and turns and you have to figure out the right way to go. A labyrinth, however, um, there is only one way to go. You cannot get lost in a labyrinth. You follow it in and you get into the center and then you go right back out the same way. And there are can be lots of turns and things, but there's one way you don't have to worry about which way to go. Uh, a lot of labyrinths are actually big, like in gardens that you can physically walk. Those are really cool if you can find one to try um, and to also to pray in. But this one is a finger labyrinth that you can um, try at home. It's put out by our friends Illust from Illustrated Ministry. And so you can color it. And then what you do is you just follow with your finger and you just spend some time quietly thinking about what you want to talk with Jesus about and following it along with your finger. And so I have uh, included that in the packet. And then I've also included a little bit more about a labyrinth and some ways that you can pray uh, using the labyrinth. And then I also did include a devotion by our friends at Illustrated Ministry um, that families can use for an Ash Wednesday service using uh, a prayer la uh, labyrinth. So I hope you enjoy those. And now let me show you our craft project. Okay, so what we have is we have Jesus calms the storm, right? So we have to have a boat and we have to have our disciples and then we have the storm on one side and you have the calm sea um, on the other side. Now, just to save some time, I'm gonna show you how we assemble this. But to save time, I did go ahead. You're gonna to wanna to pull out your markers, your crayons, your colored pencils, your paint, whatever you wanna to do to color it. Um, I used uh, crayons to do mine. And actually, I did two, uh, I did mine separately instead of um, back and front, just so that you could see. Here was my storm, kind of looks scary. And then I have my um, calm ocean, okay? And then, I have my pieces here. These are my little disciples and I cut them out. So you color them and cut them out. And then you have your boat pieces. And the tricky part, I will say this, your sail, you want to make sure that your sail, you don't want it to go like this or like that. You want it at the top. It's like a bar and a bar at the bottom. So you want it to be standing up like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down and I'm going to take one of my boat pieces and I'm going to put that down. You have a popsicle stick and I'm going to attach them to my popsicle stick. So if I can get the glue to come out. If you have a glue stick that might work. You could even just tape it if you wanted. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a little bit of a handle on it. And so you're going to do it just like that. And then I'm going to just let that dry for a minute real quick while I show you about this one. Now, if you notice on your, um, your ocean picture or your sea picture, 
uh, on the calm side, there's some dotted lines right along in here. That is where you want to cut a slit so that you can put your boat in. And so you can kind of fold it if you want and just cut a little bit. That's what I do. There we go. And so I have a, now I can stick my boat in there. And then what I'm gonna do here, so I have my boat and then what I want to do is I want to make this like a pocket. So I'm going to put glue, but I'm going to glue just along the bottom. Yep, again, if my glue wants to come out. I'm just going to glue along the bottom because I'm going to stick my disciples in there. So I'm going to make like a little pocket for them. That's all I'm doing. Okay. And so now I have my boat. Might want to put a piece of paper down so you don't get glue on the table like I did. And then you can just take your little disciples and you can slide them in there. You can just set them in for your story. You can, and they just stick right in there. Want them to show. And he's going to be standing up in the back there. Yep. All righty. And then what you do is you can, you can slide them back there, and then they can be in your boat, right? In the ocean. How do you like that? All right, I hope you enjoy that. Boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed our time together today. Let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, who calms the storm and helps us to have faith. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. May you always be guided by God. Have a great week.